In this video, we will discuss how to fix the surface vectors of your CAD model if they were exported incorrectly from your CAD software. This is a common issue and can cause you issues with proper probe compensation when scanning on your part. The process is simple, so let's take a look at it. First, let's identify what surfaces need corrected on the CAD. In PCDemus, we have a couple easy to use tools that help us identify those surfaces quickly. Let's navigate to the menu item Edit, then Graphic Display Window, and scroll down to Lighting and Materials. Inside of the Lighting and Materials window, we see two options, two-sided lighting and backface culling. If we uncheck the two-sided lighting checkbox, you will notice some of the surface on your model now become dark. This is because the vectors are upside down, so we are actually looking at the bottom of the CAD surface. The second option is backface culling. If we turn two-sided lighting back on and check the box for backface culling, you will see the problematic vector surfaces now disappear. This is a much more intense way to identify which surfaces need to be corrected on your CAD model. Thankfully, fixing these problem surfaces is easy. We will again need to navigate to the menu item, Edit, and Graphic Display Window. But we will now select CAD Vectors to open the CAD Vectors dialog box. Inside the dialog, we have an option for two-sided lighting, Flip Surface Vector, and Fix Surface Vector. Unchecking two-sided lighting allows us to again see the problematic surfaces that we will now correct. Selecting one of these darkened surfaces, an arrow will now be displayed showing the vector of this surface. Notice it is pointing in the opposite direction. We can quickly correct this surface by now selecting the Fix Surface Vectors button in the dialog, and just like that, our vector is now correct. Continue selecting surfaces and fixing the surface vectors until no dark surfaces remain. Returning to the Lighting Materials dialog, we can now use backface culling to further verify missing surfaces. Now that our CAD is correct, we are ready to start measuring. All you need to do is get out there, fix those vectors, and remember to keep chasing those microns.